Hello everybody, this is Girl 18 and this is part 7 of my co-op let's play of Pokemon Suite. And here is my guest with me. Hello everybody. And in our last episode, if you haven't seen it, you can go on and watch it before watching this episode. But if you have, then we made it through Cake Tunnel, ran into all kinds of Pokemon that wouldn't let, let me, they wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> Yeah, that Candix tailed us for a really long time. Yep. He just re he really wanted to be chewed into chewed bubble gum by you. <laughs> he, yeah, he really wanted to be chewed yeah, on by right you. Yeah, right as I got to the entrance or exit, I ran into a Kangas cake. I think it was that we Something could like not that. catch. Well, it would not you, go in the ball. I guess I guess you tried, kind of. <laughs> You you gave it a good go and then went screw this and just murdered it by throwing change in its face. Yep. That that your seems. Phone. Yeah, that seems like a good way to ruin any cake. Mhm. Mm Such a shame. I don't know. I don't want it though. I can't handle another pet. Got too many with the. Uh, Wait, who who do I have with me? It's Shirtzel, Q Pop, Q -Pop and, and uh, uh, let me check. the Flan Goose or something like that. Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, let me check on that. They're all my friends. I know. <laughs> I just wanted to check his ability. Oh, if he's ice cream. Oh. But. But the other one was bananas, powers up ice cream, and this is split. It powers up bananas. Where, where's ice cream? I know. I know. What the <laughs> heck? Okay. That sounds really disgusting. I don't think, like... Anybody extra... would want to eat that. Yeah, extra wet flan sounds gross. I know. It's like... It loses, it loses all its consistency. It's like eating a thing of pudding and then and not and not finish it, and, it then, down. and then put it in the fridge and then go back to it later and it's all watery because you had your spit in it. Ew. Because you've been eating it in the spoon and well, every time you dip <laughs> it in, it well you know, it basically gets watered down and it's not good at all. That's essentially what that is. I I don't think that's because of your saliva, but sure. I wanted to make something truly unique, but. Uh, okay, more glitching. Ah, it's fine. Wait, let's see what that book is. Original cookbook. <laughs> we don't even get <laughs> to see. These don't sound tasty at all. It's like Magikarp. Uh, do I like candy? Yes. Actually, Magikarp would be pretty delicious in this universe, because I assume he's a takoyaki, because he basically is one anyway. A what? And I... Am I using the wrong word? I don't know what a takoyaki is. Let me see. I think I'm using the wrong word because I think takoyaki is octopus, yeah. Uh, what am I thinking of? I have no idea. Taiyaki, that's what it is. What the heck is that? It's, uh. I can send you a picture, but it's a pastry that's, um. or it's a Japanese pastry that's shaped like a fish. And, uh, it has, uh, red bean jam inside of it. Oh. It's pretty good. Well, let's see what this person says. Wonder if, what if I hadn't moved to Sweetland? Wait, there's a burger land? A toy land? No. Oh. I couldn't we have started the game with this? Those places. That would have been interesting. Oh, here's the narrator. Toyland sounds kind of fun for a Pokemon universe where all the Pokemon are toys. Yeah, it's going to re nickname these people. All of them? No, we only need to uh, nick re nickname Tartortle and Cutfeet because they don't have nicknames. Uh, man, what's a, what's a dumb pie name? I was going to say better than cake, but that's not going to fit. Nope. Also, not my true feelings, but still. Yeah. Mm. The next thing that popped into my head was, let's name him Alexander, just because. Eh, better than anything I can probably come up with. I don't know why. <laughs> it has nothing to do with pies. 
We could have named him Arex. <laughs> In the most English name. And Cuffy. And now Cuffy. You got your uh, you got your cursor hovering over X. Uh, I'm worried for your Cuffy's future. How about Sweetie? It's a cream puff. They're sweet. Sure. I mean, th this is also probably going to give uh, Cuffy many many problems later in life. Oh, I can always come back and change if I have to. If anybody can come up with a better nickname for Cuffy or Tar Turtle, uh, just I just want to put it in the comments and we'll decide on. I just wanted to point out that he he's male and therefore naming him Sweetie. Oh? So? <laughs> he's gonna be really embarrassed in school. With his friends. <laughs> well, at least they all have some sort of nickname. I for what <laughs> gender is our tart turtle? <laughs> did we the name male. a female? Oh, okay, okay, good. I'm like, did we just name a female tart turtle Alexander? No, I checked. It wasn't. <laughs> oh dear. Is that me? It's me! Hang on, let's save. Before I go into battle. You there? Right. Gah, Faith! I, w I wasn't trying to steal rare candy, nope. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope. And I, de I definitely didn't run into Team Sour and join them. <laughs> Nor was I chased out by loose poker sweets. No, not me. <laughs> I mean, that's impossible. See? My team got tougher. <laughs> I just fight you. Oh, cheater. You got the same poker sweet I do. Cheater? It was, like, it was one of the... Uh, though I think ours is better. It was one of the few things available right at the beginning. He's got to catch something. Well, it's not like he's doing a Nuzlocke, though. If he was, that would make sense. <laughs> if he had to catch the first thing he ran to, he could have caught a Licorita. That's true. Go and eradicate. Oh, that horrifying mess of fruit. No, stop. Stop paralyzing us. We just got out of that horrible tunnel. I know. You monster. Just chomping on it. Haha, <laughs> level 29. You bet he flinched. It's hard for a living pastry to... Oh no, you beat me. Okay, okay, fine. Team Sour is here to steal more candy. I wanted some too. You want to take them? Fine. Your funeral, man. And he dropped his binoculars. And I Aww. take them with me. You stole my binoculars. I'm How sure he'll you? realize it at some point and come f try to find us because we were the ones who were around him last. Maybe. That'd be funny if that actually happened in the Pokemon game. I don't think it does. Yeah, because we don't ever take anything from him, so... Yeah, but... <laughs> It'd be funny if, like, you pick up an item from somebody and it's a key item, and then later in the game they come looking for you. They're like, uh, so I, I think I dropped, like, my town map, and you were the only one nearby. Uh, did you take it? No, no. No, what are you talking about? Oh, great. They followed us. Oh, no, the Candix. How'd they get out of the tunnel? He can do, he can do whatever he wants. Who's gonna stop a Candix? Someone with a. They're huge and sticky. That's too, that's Someone too very. Someone with a raspberry Pokemon. That's too very powerful deterrence. Maybe is, isn't Tea Time Raspberry? Yeah. Maybe it was us. Maybe we should be using Tea Time to beat up those Candixes. Cliche is the only one that level 29. I got an escape rope, which could be useful. Okay, what's uh, up with these people? Are they silly or something? Because it sounds like they're doing the 
That guy was a zombie. Yeah, that's what, they, that's what I was thinking. Or something's up with him. That or he might be choking. Mm, possible too, considering this place is made of sweets. Yeah, just literal candy. He was he he tried to nom a gravestone and uh, couldn't quite get the whole thing down in one one swallow. Uh, okay. Okay, that's different. Not what I was expecting. I'm gonna go with the choking thing. Yeah. I really hope <laughs> I really hope that's a thing in this game. Where we just run into a trainer that's choking, and he's just like, I was trying to get my Pokemon to help me stop choking, why are you battling it? Oh, I'll go past you, you ain't gonna stop me. That guy's name was Sour Apple. Sour Apples were know, actually good. I didn't know they all had names. Yeah, the other one that had the speech ta talked funny was Sour Crow. Weird. I know. That does not sound delicious. No, it does not. Hmm. Nah. Bye bye. Oh, our muffin's got something. Oh, hey. Oh, a pee pee up. Sweet. I know. Oh, muffin, you're really pulling your weight now. Oh, greed. Sour Larry. <laughs> oh, he actually has an actual person name. This is just literally my cousin. Or what did he say when we started the battle? Be fat with me, and then he laughed. Yeah, just basically just my cousin. Oh, is that who your cousin is? No. <laughs> but, but he's not going to watch this so I can say whatever the heck I want about him. <laughs> Actually, his kids might. Oh, no. I'm doomed. <laughs> I, d I doubt that his kids would watch this, because this thing this hardly gets any views anyway, so... I know, but they... I don't think I've told them that I do this. Uh, they they are avid YouTubers, though. Or YouTube watchers, I guess. Well, that's probably a good thing that you didn't tell them. Yeah, they're not into LPs as much, though. They like, uh... They seem to like songs. And just random comedy content. Sour lemon. Finally, something that makes sense. Is there any lemon that isn't sour? I know. That's why I said it makes sense, because where it says sour something, it actually makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I found another great ball. Sweet. I'm gonna leave those Pokemon, our poor Poke Wild Poke Sweets alone. They don't deserve to be hit. Sour milk, ew. Yeah. Who comes uh, up with these names? Oh, I'm often got another item. Yeah, I know. I'll get it in a second. I'm trying to figure out what to send out. Uh. Oh, it's a good thing I did. Aerial Ace doesn't miss. Haha, -ha, minimize all you want. I think strawberry and or raspberry would have been good for that Pokemon. Well, still, it doesn't I... I guess it doesn't matter since we're so much higher level than that poor gumballer was. Oh we were? Whoops. I think so. Oh, and that's your berry. I don't know, I'm muffin. This this isn't quite as good as that PP up. I think you're slipping. <laughs> no, I'm not. Instead of all muffins' voice. No, it said you shall join us. Oh, what? You wouldn't be up for joining Team Rocket? I do it in a heartbeat. It actually would be an interesting game if they produced one where you given the where if you didn't want to join Team Rocket, you could play one side, and if you did, you could play the other side. <laughs> That's funny. 
That would actually be interesting. It's something, another rare candy. That that would be a good duality. Uh, it could be Pokemon Officer Jenny and Pokemon Team Rocket. <laughs> or rather, what would be a good name? Sarah Grape. Okay, that... That don't sound really good, to be honest. No, not really. Or it could be something like Pokemon Light and Pokemon Darkness, where light is where you're on the side of good and darkness on the side of evil. They almost did that with white and black. <laughs> I mean, I know that's not the theme of white and black, but... I know. They've also done that with... What is the new one again? Is it Dawn and Dusk? Uh, or was that Sun and Digimon? Moon. Sun and Moon. I don't Dawn know. No, you're, uh, think you're probably thinking of Digimon, because I don't think we have any information yeah. on Sun and Moon yet. Dawn, Dawn and Dusk was, uh, uh, was Digimon, yeah. Maybe, maybe that's going to be the theme in Sun and Moon. That would be interesting if you could actually get the opportunity to experience being on the evil side for once, instead of always being the good guy. That would be cool. It's never going to happen. Yep. Never, ever. More than oh, likely the, not. The, the Minta Star just doesn't have a mouth for some reason in this version. Huh. We are strange. It's a little bit weird. Okay, cliches level 30. Let's start leveling everybody else up. I'm trying to think of games where you can just literally just be like, I'm going to join the main villain team, just for funsies. I don't think there's very many of those. I think recently you can do it in Fallout 4. I wouldn't know. I never played Fallout. Uh, I remember you could do it in uh, Steambot Chronicles, I'm never pretty sure. Oh, for shame. Oh, I haven't been very much into uh, playing games for very long. That's fine. The Steambot Chronicles was a PS2 era game. Well, I never had a PS2. The only game, video game systems we had uh, was, I think, a Super Nintendo, a Nintendo 64, a PS3. Those are actually pretty old. <laughs> a Wii, and it was the red Wii, the special edition one. You, like, jumped a gen there. From, uh... Yeah, GameCube. Yeah, you jumped the Game GameCube Advance. game. And basically the DS systems. Though I don't, I don't, have, a, I don't have a 3DS yet. I don't know, Karamas Girl. That sounds like quite a few systems. I know, but I'm saying we, don't, we, didn't, have a, we didn't have very many of the PlayStation ones. We only had a PS3 and then a PS4. That's fair. I just like I and I started a whole two generations of systems earlier than you did. <laughs> oh, good times! I started gaming on the Atari, which yes. was the, the worst idea. Don't ever go back to Atari games; <laughs> they're not great. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to. There, there's some that aren't atrocious. Like uh, there were things like Galaga. On the Atari and Space Invaders and oh, stuff like that. Oh, there's finds in all form. It's just just another banana. It's just mm. fully ripe now. Yep. It's getting a little. I, I see those brown spots. It's getting a little bit overripe. Oh, that was a nice touch that they did for to actually make it seem like a real banana. Yeah, uh, and a, it's a good um, evolutionary defense mechanism against me anyway, because I don't like overripe bananas. I don't eat bananas, period. No. Oh. I eat them a lot, and I prefer green bananas because I'm strange. <laughs> when they get yellow and start getting spots, it's they, they get too sweet, and I don't like them anymore. Okay. Tea time's on the 30. Oh, razor lime. Sweet. But... What should I get rid of? Or should I get it at all? Uh, I have no idea. Isn't Hunger Touch, like, super weak and hasn't been super helpful? Yeah. Maybe that one. Yeah, I got rid of it. If I get Hunger Dust, then I'm gonna have a problem. Uh, yeah. Especially since, like, having a Pokemon with, um, the Paralyzed Powder and 
poison powder is so good for catching wild Pokemon. I know. But we're not gonna we're not gonna collect them all nope. in this game. Or at least that's the gist I've been getting. Nope, we're only going for a select few. So once we get our last one, we won't have to worry about that anymore. Unless we need to use it for Unless I beg you to fill out my party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, un we'll or unless I need to get ri to stop enemy Pokemon hey, from, you know. Right and of course. What the? Did you see that name? Uh, no. That's Sugar Conroy's name. Sour Emil. Really? Is Chucker Conroy's full name Sour Emil? No, it's just Emil, but I saw the name Emil, I was like, wait a minute. <sighs> Things are is never that, dull here. Is that your sister? <laughs> yep. Oh. It's got another item. Ooh, an Ormberry. Not very useful now, considering how much HP. No, it's fine. Let's heal up. Okay, the boss is up ahead. So let's save. Yeah, we this, go and face uh, him. this looks like a boss walk up. Yep. It's just... Wait, boyfriend! Oh, I see! <laughs> I, I was right! My speculation about Grey and Faith were right. <laughs> It actually has that same line if you play as a boy. That's fine. I I mean he's making he's trying to make fun of you, I assume. Yeah. This tower makes rare candy out of the candy from the candy mine. Didn't makes this sense. used to be the Didn't this used to be the haunted tower? Yeah. Is the candy mine just literally the graves of dead Pokemon? It's like oil. I guess. It's just they're just sticking up the decomposing bodies, and it's just it's sugar candy. You mean the rotten bodies, considering they're pokey sweets. Sure. And food decomposes over time. Oh, sweetie got his butt handed to him. Yeah, I need to. Oh, good. His poor little creamy butt. Wait. Wait. Ah, I keep on hitting the wrong one. There we go. Ah! That didn't hurt that much. Oh boy. We need probably need to switch. Um so Apple's good against banana. So you can use Apple you can have Alexander use Apple Toss and Banvine. Or the Band Perrier. Uh what was red a cake? Blueberry? I assume Oh, you jerk. Oh it use had pursuit. pursuits? Yes. Yeah, that'll happen. I hate that. Hate it, hate it, hate it. I was gonna say lime is good against uh, blueberry, so you could have put out the uh, tea time. Uh... Yes, Alexander, you must live. Aha. Yeah, that's right. I didn't try and escape, therefore your pursuit only did normal damage. Yep. I uh, have, um, I was going to say have Alexander use bit of, uh, Apple Toss on the Gummy Bear. No! Hubner Dust! It's okay, it'll just lick its cream. Oops! 
Oh well. Sorry, I'm muffin. Poor Aw Muffin. Thankfully, no. Level 31. Is 32 when it evolves again? I think uh, Sarbine normally evolves at level 36. Yeah, okay. We just. Been ex we've just been finding underleveled uh, band band periers or whatever the name was. They're cheaters. They are cheaters. Just like Lance with his Dragonite at level forty something. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Yeah, you made him weak. Who's the old man that they they were uh Mr. Fuji, I'm guessing. With. What are we getting? A B day cake. Thank you. Oh, that's the poke flute. I understand. Oh wait, I what? can use What's the poke flute do? Wake up sleeping Pokemon. Oh, okay. That's what you get for to get past the Snorlax. Or Snorlax, oh, okay. I should say. We're going to throw out a birthday party? That seems stupid. Uh, hang on. Uh, could you look up the... It doesn't deserve it. Oh, never mind. Oh, it looks so good. Look at it. Uh, I do not like strawberry shortcake. So, well, I will disagree with you. you know. I, I don't know. It looks like it's got strawberries on top. Mm, how long have we been going for this episode? We may want to call it there. I think it may be just under half an hour. Okay, we probably need to call it then. I guess we'll see you guys next time where we, uh, I guess, head to the next town. And throw that to lazy... <laughs> we'll see you next time when we throw that lazy bum s s'more lags a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> See you then.